Florence is shaping up to be a monster hurricane with its eye set on the southeast U.S. coast. Where will Florence go and how will it impact you? Okay, let's science. Okay, let's get into it. Overnight on Sunday, Florence went through something called rapid intensification. This is something I've talked about a few times before, but basically it means the tropical system is strengthening at an extreme rate. In order for this to happen, a hurricane or tropical system has to be in an environment with warm seawater, abundant moisture in the atmosphere, and relatively calm and a consistent wind pattern. So where will Florence go? The current forecast guidance shows that Florence will make landfall somewhere on the south or North Carolina coast coast. From the trends and patterns I've seen, I would expect Florence to favor a more northerly track with a North Carolina landfall. Regardless of exactly where Florence will go, any state along the southeast U.S. coast has to be prepared, whether you're in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, even the Maryland coast, you have to be prepared for this storm. With hurricanes and tropical storms, there is a lot of emphasis on where exactly the storm will make landfall, and rightfully so, but the impacts extend hundreds of miles outside of that one tiny location. So areas far outside of where Florence will make landfall have to have a plan and have to be ready. So speaking of impacts, what exactly will Florence bring? The thing that I'm most worried about is the flooding. There's two types of flooding with a tropical system, inland flooding due to heavy rainfall and coastal flooding due to storm surge. I am most concerned with Florence's inland flooding threat. Florence is expected to slow down upon arrival and bring a widespread 10 plus inches of rain across the Southeast and Mid-Atlantic. Florence's heavy rains could even extend into the northeast after landfall, but that forecast is a little a ways out. The storm surge threat is usually confined to areas closer to the eye, with it being worse to the right of the eye's landfall. Storm surge occurs when a hurricane essentially pushes seawater inland. Lower and unprotected areas are normally most prone. Storm surge is a little trickier to forecast and very dependent on landfall location, so I'm not going to go into exact details and exact numbers when it comes to storm surge, but look for a video in the future on that. Finally, the winds. Current forecast guidance shows that Florence will most likely make landfall as a major hurricane packing winds in excess of 120 miles per hour. Those extreme winds will be confined to a relatively small area near landfall, but winds 50, 60, and 70 miles per hour can be expected on a more widespread basis. Compounding high winds with a saturated ground means power outages and if you're in any of these areas, you gotta be ready for a power outage that can extend for a pretty long time. So I suggest going to ready.gov slash power hyphen outage for all the precautions that you can take. Regardless of exactly where Florence will go, I have two things to recommend. Have a trusted weather source that you know is reliable and that you can go to on a consistent basis. And finally, have a plan. Have a plan for yourself, have a plan for your family, have a plan for your pet. You gotta have a plan and just be prepared. Thanks for listening.